Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded Dead God Plus series. We're jumping into another new run and we're going to be randomizing to see who we might get. Try to rebuild the streak a little bit and we're going to get forgotten. Always a fun one in my opinion. Always a fun one indeed. So let's grab, where is that boy? Forgotten, yeah. I gotta say, I like Forgotten a lot. He's a lot of fun. And I'm going to jump right into the question of the day at the very start of the episode here before I forget. Also, Leah, not bad. Um, What is something that just annoys you so much and it really shouldn't what is something that's just like oh, also i think we had eden's blessing because we started with um the socks which i think it, do they just give you spike immunity let me check but yeah what's something that just irrationally annoys you uh gives us speed two soul hearts and immune to spikes and creep boy i take so much damage to creep that's amazing I'm so bad for just getting hit by creep, like, all the time. So that is just absolutely fantastic for me. Boom. Okay, let's try and pop some of these bad boys open. Get ourselves the quarter. And we'll carry on. I actually haven't played Isaac in a few days. It's been a hot minute. I've, I've, I've had a backlog going, you guys know. And I've been whittling it away a little bit. Not for any reason in particular, I've just been like, I've been playing like Revita. Oh my god, we've got so many soul hearts, but no burn hearts to speak of. I've been playing a lot of Revita, and then I was kind of away over the weekend. Oh, I wasn't really away. Um, my girlfriend's boss hosted like a, um, basically just like a piss up session, <laughs> where he just bought a lot and a lot of booze, and we all got very drunk. It was quite entertaining. Now you might be thinking, why the hell would you want to get drunk with your boss? He's not really like a normal boss. He's more of like on the same level as everyone else. They kind of started the company together in a way at least. Um, so it's it's not quite like just starting a uh, getting a pissed up with your boss. But anyways, it was a lot of fun. Um, and so that like decommissioned me for the whole of Saturday because I was there pretty much all day. Decommissioned me for the whole of Sunday because I was hungover most of the day. And then Monday was like a bank holiday, so my girlfriend had the day off and so did I. So we ended up just having a nice chill day together. So it's been like three days since I played Isaac, which is, I say a long time. It's really not. It's a, <laughs> it's very much not a long time at all. But it is a long time for me. That is uh, quite, quite something going that long. Ooh, hello. Ooh, hello. I think we go... Take Brimstone first, then we take that. We switch over just to make sure. We grab that, okay. Well, this has gone well. <laughs> this is a good start. I, th I think I got hit by, hit by that bomb on the way out there. But this has been a good start. Oh, well, this was an XL floor apparently too. I didn't notice that. I do love the Brimstone ball. I also do quite like Fruity Plum too. Fruity Plum is a cutie. Fruity, cutie. Right, let's go and absolutely blast on our bosses here. Good thing is now we don't actually have to get the devil deal on, on these bosses because we've already got it. I'm, I'm going to try and use the brimstone ball for the vast majority of this run. I'll try and use the swing a little bit, but brimstone ball's way more fun. There you go. Fruity Plum got the kill. Double damage ups is perfect. And... I will go to the alt floor. We might not go to mother per se, but in fact, what do we actually get given? The lamb. Okay. Um, we'll end up seeing. I'm going to be a little cautious here and quickly go back and grab this heart. But yeah, we just got brimstone, the pact, and double damage ups for 10 damage brimstone as the forgotten on floor one. That is, um, in a word, quite spicy quite spicy indeed so i'm very happy with this run so far but yeah I'd, I'd, like for me i think i've kind of spoken about it a little bit before what one thing for me that's always been like a big sort of i won't say pet peeve as such but one thing that irrationally annoys me is people leaving food um i kind of spoke about a story before where some some people next to me left like a lot of really good food and it really annoyed me and it the reason i asked the question when i've already asked the pet peeve question is because it happened to me again recently and i was like God damn, this is actually, like, the most annoying thing to witness. Like, I don't want to see this. It's making... It It, it, it genuinely hurts me. <laughs> so I was a little bit, like... I don't know. I was just... It's, it's kind of funny, like... Because I've been doing this question of the other day thing for a little while now, I always, like... I have an experience in day-to-day in -day life, like something might happen, and I'm like, ooh, this is question of the day material, which is pro probably sounds quite sad, 
But uh, it's always kind of funny. Oh god. Uh, what did I, what did I get? Did I, did I get hit by one of the invisible dudes? Cause I didn't think I was close enough to get hit by him, but apparently I was. That's fair. Um, ooh, chaos. To be fair, I don't know why I came in here because I haven't been to my item room yet. That was probably a bad idea. Uh, I am going to quickly try for secret, second secret room. Oh, no, first secret room, actually. Boom, bow. Where the hell would it be, though? I don't actually know. I do need a bit of a fire rate up. Okay, let's, let's not lose a burn heart, please. Let's not lose a burn heart. Okay, let's go back over here and grab my heart. Okay, so it probably is here, right? Oh, also, I should definitely should have gone into that boss trap room just then. Okay, we got a key back at least. Yeah, I maybe should have gone into that boss trap room. Um, hmm. I might be able to work something out with the boss trap room here. Let me, let me, let me see. Let me see. We get a forget me now. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I will take a forget me now. Gimme, gimme, gimme. We'll take some bombs here. So let, let me grab that. Um, okay, so I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into the curse room as this guy. That's going to devil deal us once again, which I wasn't expecting, but I'm happy for. We get Lump of Coal, which is pretty good. All stats up while there's no curse on the current floor. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good all stats up too. Um, and then we get some soul hearts there, which is great. Then we leave like this. Which gives us the opportunity to open up our boss trap room. Oh my god, the speed up. I'm zooming. Nice. Okay. Oh, wait. Lumper Coal is so good with this. Lumber Coal is so good with this. And we can even grab that. It's double champions. Oh my goodness. This is crazy good. Goodbye, Min Min. It's been nice. Hope you find your paradise. Right, let's go fight the boss. And yeah, this is this is some good stuff. We got some really, really good stuff going on this floor. And we can do this floor again if we'd like to, which I very much would. You little shit. That guy did, did the dirty to me there. Did the dirty to me. Okay, what, what wall are you popping out of, sir? There you are. Another damager. And we've already been to our devil deal here, so let's just... Hmm. Yeah, let's just pop this straight away. I'm good to do this floor, this exact floor again. I think this floor went really well. Got another boss trap room, which we can probably get into pretty easily here. This room again. Let's not get hit by the actual ghosty boys this time. For some reason, I just completely blanked on them last time. Oh, my little forgotten mini Isaacs too that have the little burn clubs. It's so cute. It's so cute. Oh my god, I never realized how good Lump of Coal is with this setup. It's really good. Oh, look at him go. They're just the little cutest boys you've ever seen. I'm trying to think of other things that are rationally anno annoy me now. Like, I wouldn't even say it's really a rational annoy annoyance, but one, one thing that can kind of piss me off is, like, people interrupting you. Um, especially, like, I don't really mind being interrupted that much, especially when it's, like, with something that doesn't add anything to the current situation. When someone, like, interrupts you, but it's with n nothing of value. Um, my, my, f uh, friend used, my, used to be my flatmate, my old flatmate. Um, ooh, Mum's perfume is really good here. Tears up is really nice. Um, yeah, my, my friend, uh, recently broke up with her boyfriend, I think. I'm pretty sure they're still broken up. Honestly, I can't say for sure. It's, it's been a messy affair. Um, but, do I open this up? Yeah, I'll crack this bad boy. Eh, wasn't that, wasn't that good, but I'll, I'll stick with it. Um, okay. And it, yeah, like, she, like, her boyfriend was exactly like that. He would do that all the time. Okay, we got a crimson chest in here. Interesting, interesting. And we get rotten apple, I think that is. Okay. Horse pill, I gotta take it. Okay, that's pretty much exactly what I wanted to happen anyways. Right. Go for the boss trap room once again. Got a HP up, very nice. It's the same two bosses again, is it? Same two bosses again, Min Min? It is indeed. 
Okay, I didn't realize it'd actually be the same bosses as well, but that worked out pretty nicely for us here. Do I do I get any damage from this? No, I don't. Okay, we'll be taking this then. Well, obviously, most floors we are probably going to have a curse. But yeah, like, he was exactly like that. He would just interrupt people all the heck in time. It was so annoying. And he's just... Like, I... I'm a, I'm, I'm a person that swears a good amount. <laughs> as many of you might already know. Um, Wait, we can maybe... Ugh, I want to try and open this and see what's in it. Okay, apparently I can't open that with a swing. Big sad. Uh, I'm going to plop you down... Do you know what? We've got some hearts about. Let's um, let's play you out. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's fine. That's fine. Um. Yeah. Like I'm a person that swears a lot, but I th I tend to reserve certain swear words for at least reasons that they're necessary for. And I have to say, this guy is a cunt. <laughs> in my whole heart and opinion, I do not like him in any way, shape, or form. He is a pretty awful human being. And I don't even really care if he sees this, which I very highly doubt he would, but still. Um, right. We can't, unfortunately, open any of these chests here. We can buy an item. That's Mum's bottle of pills, right? I don't know what the hell this is. Oh, baby. That is not what I was expecting, but goddamn, that, this could be good. This could be good. I don't know what that is. Okay, I'll take the other thing because I know what that is. Broken Mask is good. There you go, Leviathan. Getting transformations, very nice. Okay, we can open this up now. Okay, he got he got blasted. Blasted to the past. Wow. Furry Plum's just coming in like crazy. We got old bandage here as well, which is just just quite good. Um we'll check in here, see what we've got going on. I think they're Void Bombs, and I don't actually know what this is, so I'm going to take it. It's Wrath. Oh, uh, Damn. Okay, I'm a little bit of an idiot, and I really apologize. Um, I really do apologize to... Blazy for this. Blazy's the creator of the Wicked mod. She sent me an update that fixed specifically this item. I didn't download it, because I'm a stupid. <laughs> yeah, I didn't download the update, so I don't think the item is working correctly right now. I don't think it's doing anything. Um, it's meant to. Let's take a little look what it's meant to do, but I don't think it's working correctly as of right now. Uh, three broken hearts, damaging enemies, send out tears that hermit on enemies. Yeah. It's not currently working. I'm a little bit of a fool for not getting the patch that I should have gotten. It's It's my bad. I apologize. Hopefully, hopefully the three broken hearts won't make too much of a difference. Although I feel like maybe as the forgotten, they might make quite a massive difference. I haven't really had broken hearts as the forgotten before, but it doesn't feel good. Looks like I'm not going to be able to have many, uh, many hearts as, at all, really. I'll take this. Botfly is pretty good. And we got Beelzebub from that, too. The Broken Mask is so good. Transformations just come hot and fast. It's great. Should be Secret Room. Lovely. Good, good. Some good stuff here. All I really care about is the key, though. Yeah, that's that. That's my mistake. I, I, I do apologize for uh, being a goober like that. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Old Bandage saved the day, though. I don't want to use my key quite, quite yet. What the hell is this room? Thank God we could get through it so easily because that was a bit scary. Oh, God. Also, another pretty evil room here. Okay. Luckily, the brimstone balls last quite a long time. So we normally get quite a, quite a good few kills off of one ball if the enemies kind of filter in towards us, which is really nice. That was close. That guy got pushed into my brimstone ball that time. And also, they actually do travel a good distance, too. Like that look. Like, it's not like a long distance, but it's good enough. That was just a dumb hit by me, but it's okay. I've rejuvenated that HP already. 
Oh my god. Enemy's getting quite close. I'm getting a lot of flies right now. Is that because of Beelzebub? I don't know. Okay, so let's take this. Yes, I'm currently locked at three burn hearts, which isn't ideal. Um, I didn't realize it would do that. So I'm a little bit scared on that behalf. Anyways, one second. Let me just pause. Okay, let's carry on. Let's move forward. Sadly, we got a curse this time, so... We can crack that. Oh, that was a little scary, but I did it. Hey, that's a look penny. Tried to hide from me, little look penny. Tried to hide from me. I don't even know why I changed it over to the soul version there. It doesn't matter, does it? Okay, there you go. We do have regular or brimstone to go out if we want to use regular brimstone too. I keep kind of forgetting that. But brimstone ball is just so much more fun. It's so it's so different and unique and cool. Just do our boss straight away here because it's going to die pretty quickly nonetheless. Holy sugar. <laughs> well, that was easy. Plus one damage up. Pig ear. Interesting. I, I, there's something wicked. The mod pack adds a lot of damage ups. That's like the third one in the boss pool. That's, that's a lot of damage ups. I'm not quite sure if I uh, if there should be that many. I mean, it's not a terrible thing. But I've seen like three damage ups. No, two damage ups from this mod pack so far. And I know for a fact there's at least one more. All in the boss pool. Okay. Easy kills, easy kills. A little bit of change for me, a little bit of pocket change, but we are stomping through at the minute. I mean, first floor brimstone is always going to be a bit of a stomper of a run anyways. Like, you cannot deny. But this is still just going really well. <laughs> a lot of the other stuff we've got going on along with it is, uh, is quite tasty. Also, having Beelzebub and Leviathan here, also quite nice. There's an extra burn heart that we can't pick up. I never really considered getting broken hearts on this guy before. It's bad. It is not good. We haven't been to our item room yet, have we? I really... I think... I'm not sure. I think this curse is, is the, my least favorite curse in the entire game. Because it just... You just have to clear too much of the floor. And I'm not a person that clears much of the floor anyways, so... It just ends up making extra work for me, and I'm always like, heck, extra work? I don't want that. Although I have been given extra work at actual work recently, which is, do you know what? It's fine. <laughs> like, I'm not going to complain. Um, okay, got you as well. Oh, you turned friendly, okay. Um, Steam sale, why not? I still need to fill up my donation machine at some point, but I'm actually kind of enjoying the crutch of not having my donation machine filled. I, I rely way too heavily on my donation machine um, to get money, even after the nerf to it. So I feel like having it nerfed is, is kind of a good thing for me. It keeps me honest. <laughs> it stops me abusing it quite as much. And I feel that, that that's a definite good thing for me. We're just going to blast through. We're going to try and go to the lamb here. Um, okay, that was strange. I'm not really sure why that room did that. It spawned an enemy that instantly died upon me walking in. Okay. Blood banks, unfortunately, would not regularly be pretty useful, but with full burn hearts and no way to get new ones, it doesn't really work. What the hell? What was that noise? I'm, I'm very confused. One second. One second. Okay, let's continue onwards here. Um, I apologize for that pause. I say I apologize for you guys. It was mere seconds for me. It was like a half an hour call. <laughs> um, but I, as, I, as I've said quite a few times, I tend to record. I don't know even what, know why I'm doing this because I don't need the soul hearts. Uh, I tend to record my episodes like right in the morning as I get up, which uh, means that because because I like I don't really have. I think I've said before. I don't really have. Eh, do you know what? We'll give it a go. Um, I don't really have like start and end times for my job i just it's just kind of do the job make sure the work gets done i don't they don't really care like um when it gets done sort of thing um i could take that as well why not i probably should have re-rolled it actually i mean i can carry on re-rolling actually see what i can get that's pretty good i'd, I'd take another trinket if i can get the money for it 
Um, yeah, so it means that I can kind of like, it, it definitely helps my YouTube because I can kind of fit it in between doing work. Um, and a lot of the time it means that I do work in the morning, but that also does sometimes mean, um, ooh, all champions. So, I'm start, I'm, I am wondering a little bit why I'd want to do this, because it doesn't seem like any of those drops champion drops, which makes it feel a little redundant. Um, <laughs> not a single one of them dropped their champion drops, which, yeah. Yes, mother, nice. I'll take that, thank you. I'll co come through here. Get my ultra secret room of one go, baby. Okay, nice. Yeah, I don't really know why I'd want to championify things. Really? A HP upgrade that, I d that literally does nothing for me. I mean, I guess it's luck. Um... But yeah, so it means I can fit it in, which does also, it does also sometimes mean that sometimes I'll be like midway through a video and um, they'll want something from me. But obviously it takes priority. Luckily OBS has this pause function, uh, which I'm just very grateful for. Ooh, a dice shard. Nice. Um, would it be nice to reroll the item that I just got, but hey ho. Um, what, do, what does it do here? It did indeed make her into a champion, I think. Oh no, it didn't. No, it didn't. I thought it did for a minute. It didn't. We'll definitely try and do boss rush here. We're going dark path here. We're, we're on, six, on for 16 minutes at the moment. We'll check what we get from here. A black heart. Um, minus one heart container, plus two burn hearts. Um, I guess I'll try this. It said... It said plus two burn hearts. That, I feel like that was a lie. <laughs> I didn't get plus two burn hearts. And I'll I'll dice shard this and see what we get. Eh. Nah, I'm okay, thanks. Let's go do boss rush. It's a little bit precarious. I think we take daddy long legs here. We did just get like a bit of a damage down, but a massive fire rate upgrade, so... That's not so bad. I think the fire rate up is way more valuable. My my space bar is relatively terrible here. I think especially with Lumper Coal, this is going to be pretty good. Did you get stuck in the middle, dude? I think Pin got stuck. <laughs> Pin's been trapped. He's been caged. We got a Soul Heart back here. Okay, we got the, the two Brimstone boys, which I would say isn't perfect, but they actually went down very quickly. I'm hoping we get a Red Heart drop out of one of these bosses at some point. Wait, what? Is he not dead? Wait, what? Okay, you just had like the microest bar of health. To be fair, what I probably could do, which might even be more effective, is just sit... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, because of Lump of Coal, this might be way more effective. It most certainly is. Because I'm getting the full range. Now you jumped further away, you goober. That's the exact thing you didn't want to do. Also, thank you for all the flies. So long and thanks for all the fish. Like even at this range we're getting crazy damage. But the, the enemy at the other side just insta dies. Whoever it is at the other side is just like, bye bye. Lumper Coal Brimstone is quite the combo. Yeah, I, I always forget that I can use the ghost to get regular Brimstone. It's a much, much better way of doing it, I think. Calm down, you angel boy. I think the angels have some boss armor. That's why it took a while to go down. Do you remember we're playing with a mod that does, does add boss armor? Okay, you're you're going to go down pretty quick. See, they keep trying to jump on me. And then I just, get, I just fear them. They jump the other way. Beautiful. Aha, I don't get hurt by creeps. I don't really care about that. And look, looky here. <laughs> the best item you could ever hope for. It's Dio. 
God damn dear. Wait, where's the exit? Okay, it's here. <laughs> I was very confused for a moment there. It's Dio. Dio, eo, my. I don't think I've... I cannot remember the last time I used Dio. Let's find out why. Oh, yeah, that's... <laughs> that's that's some great rerolls there, game. Literally rerolled enemies into some of the worst enemy variants I could possibly hope to find. Extra range is nice. Does the ball get larger the further away from it I get? Let me let me try this. If I stand on it, no, it's just the longer it exists. I was maybe thinking it was it was gonna work based on my distance from it as well. Because that would actually be kind of good. If I could fire the ball, then run away, and it just makes it, like, into a nuke that absorbs the whole room. Good. You are taken care of as well. Crack, crack, crack. I'm loving the speed at which we're clearing right now. I actually think Salvation was such a good pickup. We did lose quite a bit of damage and obviously the HP, but we gained so much fire rate. And I think fire rate in this case, like we lost, so our damage was like 14. So we lost like 20%-ish damage. Maybe not, not quite exactly, but somewhere around that margin. But we gained like double the fire rate. So we're dealing way more damage um, effectively. Oh God, I'm hiccuping. I've been having mad hiccups recently, I don't know why. Hiccups are such a weird thing, aren't they? Hiccups are kind of one of those things where it's like, if there wasn't a scientific explanation for why they happened, if we didn't like know, people would think that like, it's some witchcraft. People probably did. It is kind of crazy how like, if you, like, look back through history, it wasn't, like, that long ago when when humans were very, very stupid. <laughs> like, I don't mean as in, like, they were all actually dumb, but, like, there was just so much information that we didn't have access to and so many misconceptions and, and just things that, when you look back on them, it baffles the mind to how anyone could have believed that that's how things worked. But yet, yeah, that's how it is. It, it, it's it's kind of crazy to think. I know I'm, I'm, I'm being very vague in what I'm saying here. Why does the yuck pill give me so much lag? <laughs> what is it about the yuck pill that induces such lag? Why? Why am I the way that I am? I was like, I can sneak past that bomb. No, you can't, you fool. Yeah, just like, it's, it's just like when when people would assume people were witches. I, I'm, I'm still like not even 100% sure if that was ever real. I, I feel like no one ever actually believed anyone was witches and they just wanted an excuse to burn them on a stake. They were just, they just had grudges against people or it was women acting out against what they, uh, against their like social class norms or whatever against like what a woman should be doing. And yeah, it, it's kind of funky to think. Let's um, take this and then we can grab that and that. Do you know what that'll do? Um, yeah, and I feel like a lot of the time it's just like this woman showing ankle, she's a witch. Burn her. I mean, and to be fair, that's another thing that, like, not that long ago was, like, more of a normal thing. Taking the family out to, like, watch an execution. Like, what the fuck? You absolute savages. Here, little Johnny, come watch this criminal get his head cut off for stealing some bread. Like, what the heck? I know that that's probably not what they executed for, but you never know. It was medieval times. Um, and I just, it's just crazy. It's just absolutely crazy. Like, the evolution. I was watching a video the other day. I don't know if any of you watched, uh, have watched her videos before. There's this person on YouTube called Sophia Nygaard. I think that's her name. N N I can't, N I don't have to pronounce her last name properly. But, she, she's a very popular YouTuber. She's got, like, over 10 million subscribers. It's not as if she's some unknown person. But, I've been... Mean, fucking loving her content recently and I'm surprised I think I've even mentioned it on my channel a few times before I'm surprised because um by the way rotten hearts are busted with the star of the bottomless pit because all of our flies become uh, locusts 
It's really busted. I still think this item's way too strong. Like, you can, it should either turn all blue flies into locusts or give you the chance to get locust on kill. Not both. I don't know why it needs to do both. It's just so strong. Um, but anyways, yeah, I've been watching a lot of her content, and I'm surprised, like, it kind of surprised me when I first found her that I enjoyed it so much, because a lot of it is, like, typically not content that I'd seek out. It's, like, makeup tutorial stuff, and, like, doing experiments with makeup and things like that, and, like, reviewing stuff, and ob obviously for me, I'm, like, why the hell would I be interested in that? But, for one, like, her and the person she has her videos with, Tyler, which is her husband, are just thoroughly entertaining. The videos are really, really well made and edited. And the the content matter, like, normally is a lot more interesting than it initially looks. Like, they did a video a, a few years back now, I think it was like 2019, but I watched it last night, where um, they, like, they went back and looked through wedding dresses of the ages, and it was so interesting. It was so intriguing to see, like, how rapidly style changed and, and why, too. Like, there were so many different reasons for why there were such big differences in how, how style was formed and what people were wearing. There was, like, the sort of partial parts of it where it was just what looked nice, but there was also what was available at the time. Like, during the war, dresses were very, um... Were, were not very big and poofy, and they were usually made of, of, of um, not as nice material, because silk was in um, high demand from, for the army for parachutes, so they just couldn't get silk dresses as they normally would. Um, and also, they wanted dresses that were, um, that were very quick to get into and out of, because uh, soldiers would often get called back to war at completely random times. Therefore, they needed dresses that they could, like, not spend a day getting into, so that they could get married immediately when their loved one got home. Um, and there was, like, different stuff, like, with the 60s, where, like, there was a whole stylistic revolution of women becoming more free and uh, being able to be a bit more open and expressive with their clothing. So, like, wedding dresses of the 60s were kind of wild. Like, you, you see how busted this is? You see how busted this locust thing is? I have just an absolute army of locusts. Absolute army. Um, it's crazy. Wait, how how much? I, I've got pretty good range. I'm just t testing if I needed to swing. How's it? How? That's not my brimstone. Oh wait, is it? Might it might be. Um, I'm getting a lot of these brimstone flies on my side right now. It's pretty good. Yeah, and it, it was just it was just really intriguing. Like normally, if I saw a, a video that was called um, wearing wedding dresses throughout the ages, I'd be like, I sleep. Um, but that, like, it, it really was very, very interesting. And, like I said, the videos are just really well made as well, which makes it even more interesting. Like, um, they got a kind of an ongoing series that they do every now and again where they, like, buy a bunch of, like, candles or different makeup and, like, melt them into one, like, they call it the Franken, um, like a, a Franken lipstick or whatever, like, a bath bomb or whatever. They, they, like, mix a bunch of stuff together to make new stuff. And, again, on the surface, they don't seem all that interesting like they just kind of seem like whatever but they're so entertaining oh my god my brimstone flies are going off they're so entertaining and as well like something i really like is they're like 30 to 40 minute videos too which for me like there's a reason why i make content like i do because i much prefer longer videos um i i even have more highly respect it when it's a highly edited long video also i'm going to quickly go back and grab a heart over here um, yeah, I even more highly respect it when it's a, a long edited video. And yeah, it's just, I don't know, I've just been getting really into their content recently. I say recently, I've been watching them for like a good few months now at this point, and I've basically gone back through their entire channel and watched essentially every video they've ever made. Um, but it's always um, awesome when you find a channel like that. And obviously, like I said, I know it's not like an unknown channel. It's not like I've found something like when people find my channel and think, oh, hidden gem or whatever. I'm not saying that people do, but some people might. When it's a smaller channel that you end up really liking, some people kind of class that as hidden gem. So it's not that it's not that sort of deal, really. Um, it is more so that, um, unfortunately, all trash. Um, or at least all trash for us. Um, yeah, it was not really one of those situations, but it is still really nice to find a channel that you end up liking a whole hell of a lot more than you expected to. Do you know what? I'm not dealing with brimstone ghosts. I'd much rather deal with cultists than brimstone ghosts. Thank you. Okay, the flies are the flies are doing work. 
There is another one. Yeah, there you go. Another Fallen that's just chilling. God damn, the Fallen Resprite still... Still hit different. That's so good. Okay, we do get a Red Heart there. That's very, very, very useful to know. We are absolutely destroying right now. Dr. Fetus? I don't even know what that would do. I'm just going to leave it for now because I feel like it's not a good idea. Look at the flies. The locusts are just killing everything. Just annihilating all that exists and all that was. Scratch card just to, for a bit of look towards the end there. Okay, so just remember if I get hit, like if I only get down to one burn heart, which it's looking like won't happen. Um, boss armor be damned, you're dead. <laughs> Doesn't matter. There you go. Um, do you know what? We might as well try it. Because the thing is, I might die. That's very true. I might die. But who cares? <laughs> We're not trying to build a streak. I mean, we are trying to build a streak. But we don't really care about building a streak anymore. So now it's just like, I can just kind of chill and have fun. And go for a boss that might not make any sense because my health is very low. But I'm still going to do anyways. I mean, if I can, like, garner a decently sized locust army prior to getting in there, I think we've got some good stuff going on. Good. That's an interesting rune design. Not that it lived for any more than a second, but it is interesting nonetheless. Are you going to stay up there until I kill this lump? That's very mean. Dude, can you stop being invincible? Wow! <laughs> Dad's lost coin. I can't believe it. So generous. So so truly generous. I feel I feel so blessed right now. I'm kind of like in the mood to just find delirium pretty immediately. Also, champion boys hurting me bigly. Gotta go back for the health. It's kind of funny that um, Lump of Coal is affecting... Oh, my God. Lump of Coal is affecting my uh, mum's knife, my, my tail knife, considering I don't know how that could possibly affect it in any way, shape, or form. Okay, these guys, these guys have got something going on. I really need a burn heart is what I need. Luckily, I do have full soul heart health, so I can utilize that when I need. Give me an extra burn heart. It'll just make me feel a whole lot more safe. Okay. Brownie. You little brownie boy. More range. I suppose that's not bad. Little twitchies. Okay, these guys are a bit of a pain. They don't really die very quickly either. Bloat. Bloat from above. Easy. Bloat from below. Big sad. Mama Mega. That's actually interesting because now it means that... We get a bit of screen shaky shaky, but it's going to make clearing rooms a lot easier. Also, a crawl space. Not a nice crawl space. Emperor. It did take me to Delirium. But what the hell happened here? Okay, I think for this, we, we definitely want to go with the uh, ghost form for the majority, just because the burn balls, while effective, are going to be very hard to actually use. Hmm. I'm not currently convinced by our killing power here. It's not going quite as well as I thought it would. I mean, to be fair, I, I think this guy does have 
a hefty bit more boss armor than normal? I don't actually know. There's a, there's a good chance I die here. Because I'm not really getting to use my uh, lump of coal damage, which is obviously something I was... I wouldn't say relying on, but I was hoping to utilize. Like, am I hitting him right now? I don't even know. Oh, hello. You got a little close for comfort there, sir. Oh, my God. Cheats, my dude. Cheats. Stop using the foot. Come on now. Okay, I think we've got, like, a champion version of this guy somehow. Because I'm, like, he's spawning all the champion bosses. Okay, that actually does a lot of damage if we can hit it. Maybe the ball is the way to go. Maybe ball is life. And the fear kind of keeps them in check, too. It's so annoying, because I do genuinely love this boss. Like, th this boss is so cool, but it's so bad. Like, just just, just make it fun. <laughs> but keep the design the same. But, like, it may just make it fun. Will we ever get the rebalance of this boss? The rework that we deserve? Who knows? But I'm excited to find out. Okay, I'm probably going to lose my burn heart very shortly here. I think, I think we got this. I'm a little worried right now just because I'm having a really hard time getting close. But every time I do hit a ball, it does a lot of damage. I think this guy has boss armor now. I don't even know where the boss is anymore. That's another thing, like, it's a huge room, but it doesn't zoom the camera out, like, at all. If it zoomed the camera out, this would be, like, so much less of a hectic fight. Like, it, I'm not saying it wouldn't be hectic. Of course it would be. But it'd be so much less of a hectic fight than it. Like, look at what the... What are you doing? Okay, let's let's make sure that we don't die here. Oh, wait, is he dead? I think he's dead. I think we got him. Okay, that was um, unexpected, but I'm happy about it. Another few marks in the bank there. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.